I figure this will be a pretty good game to play tonight. Like usual, how's the audio and all that? There's gonna be big black borders on the video and I can't have chat on here, but... I don't think I can have chat. Oh my goodness, look at that. Also, I've turned this down to 10 frames per second to stream this game because it, I mean, it's so intense with the frame rate anyways, I figured that we'll lose a whole bunch of um, visual fidelity here. Metal Slime, weren't you supposed to be writing a thesis last night or something like that? I'll adjust the audio a little bit. Again, I was really surprised by this game. They did a really good job. I was not at all expecting it to be this good. So we'll go ahead and play. Last time we were we were a barbarian. Huh. Did you pour your heart and soul into the thesis? I kind of just want to be a barbarian again, but I think we'll go paladin this time. Nobody understands the angsty paladin. Nobody. Not even spuds. Despite all your rage, you're still just a rat of a page. You still remember that time you embarrassed yourself as a kid. And deep down, you wish monsters would just leave you to sulk in peace. Hmm. I don't care about viewing detailed perks, because as far as I know, I can't choose any. So, no. Be a male. Character name. Like always, the plump one. We don't have any augments, because we never found any. We will do classic mode, because I like permadeath. Place of origin. Let's see. Uh, well, I guess you had to write about it anyways. So, Northern Area. The ability to bend the mystical elements. Central Tyrael. The strength to take down enemies with force. And Southern Syria. The endurance to withstand brutal attacks. Let's go ahead and go with Southern Syria. Syria. And, let's see, we have the Gorn, the Sonite, and the Huskian. The Gorn have Iron Scales, 50% resistance against bleeding. Hard Cell, using Heal, will heal a bonus amount, based on Dex, apparently. And they have the Evasive Toe. Dodge chance increases when player hit point is lowered. Sonite's Tenacity, 50% resistance to poison. Absorbent, using Heal, temporarily increases max hit points. Crumple, reduce enemy charge damage by 20. Hmm. Husky, and I like the lifelink. 5% chance per turn to heal 25% max of hit max hit points. Rage meter plus one if you were enemy as bleeding, and they have a 33% chance to break enemy's guard per turn. We're gonna go with Husky. Play intro somatic? Yes, because I actually like this. And give me a chance to sip some tea here. You guys can read that yourself though. I've already done it. That sounds like a thrilling topic to write your thesis on. Basically, our quest is going to be to find the Matron. Brutalize her. Murderize her. Sword in the stone, all that jazz. I wonder if the Matron was good at one point. I mean, isn't the sword in the stone normally only able to be pulled out by somebody that's righteous, and virtuous?
Who's that? Murphy? Mervin? Melvin? Silder in an icy crystal that he then put in his nearest drink. Oh, Cyrus. Yeah, Metal Slime, you got any good pickup lines that you could give us to use that deals with those batteries? Cyrus disappeared. Some say he'll come back for us. Some say he's always been there. I have a feeling if we make it far enough, we'll bump into Cyrus at some point. So let's see, our name is Plump. We're a paladin of husky and descent. We were born to a pair of passionate but extremely dull thespians. Raised by a hedgehog, we love gold rings way too much. Uh, not being all you can be has always been our biggest regret. One to enjoy scattering, our friends never invite us over. This morning we contemplated the meaning of life, the universe, and all. Our tongue, it tastes like chicken. We almost decide to eat it. And out of nowhere, a woman appears in front of us and begins to hum. Unsure if we're seeing an illusion, we punch ourselves in the groin. This is our story. That's actually a really good pickup line, Metal Slime. Hmm, Wonder, I feel your pain. Take these items. I'm not sure who gave them to me, but hey, they're items. And then go to gate 16. So we get three heavy bags of gold. We get a staff. Dang it. I don't want a staff. We'll equip it though, because it's better than nothing. And let's make our way to gate 16. Oh no, it's a blue slime. Hopefully this battle's not as long as the last one it was. The last one we had with him. We willed our mace high above our head. And begin to basically pounce and pummel the ridiculous slime that has an unholy amount of hit points. So the slime is shrouded, I don't remember what that means. It means if I get hit, I lose all of my gold. I think I need to be careful because I've just... Oh, I don't have enough MP, How I need to pay attention here. MP will bash. There we go. You gotta remember to do combos here. We'll reposition. I need to dance around just a little bit. I don't see that actually healing me. We're in position. We focus. We've doubled our combo count, even though I don't see my combos anywhere up there. Okay. Confirm. We hit confirmed and we plink the slime for a measly 31 damage. Knocking a layer of his skin off. Just get out of here, slime. I haven't even had to use any of my abilities. Oh my goodness. Can't believe the slime has 4,000 hit points. It's the toughest enemy we run across for a long time. Listen closely, my name is Diane. Take the grassy road to the north. The Matron must be stopped at all costs. And good luck, Plump. May the odds ever be in your favor. Yay, item drop. Hopefully it's something good replace ooh we got a tomb wand already damage 15 okay got some raw hide to chew on and what do we want to do with the paladin here increase health by 20 damage by one all this stuff I don't know if the paladin has any spells or anything at all Probably be a good idea to stock up on some health early on, though. Or to even raise my heal power with intelligence. 
Let's see, I'm currently spec'd into vitality and intelligence anyways. I'll put all the points into intelligence. Boost up my max... Um, boost up my max hit points. I'm gonna stack that for a little bit. And we've got a wand. That would take us to magic mastery wand slash staff. I'm gonna put them all into magic mastery. Even though we're not a wizard, this is actually a fairly decent weapon that we've got. So we head into the grassy fields, and a blind muscreal has eviscerated us. Hint, a gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. A white knight, however, never gets there. That's awesome. So, we're already exposed, unfortunately. So we need to reposition and dance around this bastard bat. For some reason, has decided to expose me right from the start. We get into position, focusing our attack. And we unload our finisher. Fortunately, we take a little bit of damage. There we go. I need to move my chat too so I can see it. There we go. So we slay the bat easily enough. Woohoo! So I think I'm gonna continue for now just to put some points, just to put all my points into intelligence. Because why not? Upgrade my max hit points. And continue pimping out my wand skills. Well, hey there. Welcome to West Haven. My name's Blacksmith. I'm gonna let you on a little secret. If you see X or 8, you can go there. There's secret areas. Now, be careful of the terminal. It's a paladin. Our feral lash temporarily gives us infinite mana. I don't know if that's good or not. And there... For a while, last time I was playing this, I thought that that whirring sound was something in my room. Like my computer overheating or something, but I think it's the terminal that we're actually hearing. So, we're gonna stick around in the grass fields for a little bit, though, and level up. We bump into Doomcaster, the skeleton, who's resting in the shade. Okay. This guy will be... Oh, he poisons us. Well, what a jerk. Worry about it though, it's not like we're gonna die to poison in that fight. Hornet slaps us in the face. Hint. I'm locked in the basement writing hints. Send help. And a hornet has wounded us. Wow. We start off almost dead. So we need to start repositioning. This hornet might actually kill me. The hornet is preparing to zoom. Let's see. We'll unleash a day of reckoning on his ass need to dance around. I pull my pants up. My junk is no longer exposed. Man. I don't I don't like hornets right now. There we go. I know, I don't remember hornets being that mean last time. I unlocked my ultimate there too, but didn't use it. So we find Kraken Shell. It's heavy armor, defense of three. It's yellow, which I guess means it's good. Gate 17 is the boss fight. We're not going there, though. My health is fine. We don't need to heal. Skeleton is rudely flipping us the bird. And intelligence increases our mana pool. Okay. We open up with Smite Fury. And then we just destroy the skeleton. He was held together by string and twigs, much like my internet connection. Hey, a secret in the background. A special event, crafting material. It appears to be some kind of crafting material. Well, let's pick it up. We have obtained wood splints. Yes, and another secret item found. This paladin doesn't for lack. Studded leather, let's go ahead and just salvage that. We obtained scrap metal, which we know the blacksmith will absolutely adore. Vicious Plus, the Doomcaster Skeleton growls at us. Um, let's see, uh, ability failed because I'm a derp. And skeletons... Ooh, the skeleton saw us destroy his friend. He slowly walks over with some menacing music. And I'm passing up some special attacks there, but whatever. 
So, all of my points... I think I'm gonna put all these ones into Vitality. I'll go Vitality and Intelligence for a while. Because MP for my Paladin actually seems to be kind of important. For one reason or another, some of his attacks actually depend on it. A mongrel's in the distance growling. And the caravan security system consists of really yappy small dogs. Tremble in fear. Charges at us. We unleash our unholy justice on him or something like that. Okay. I'm gonna save my holy wrath for like if we ever get I'm sure that we will have another random encounter with one of the Matron's demons again, and I would prefer to have my ultimate on hand and ready to go, just in case. Ooh, Vicious Plus. A gushy slime is rudely gesturing at us. Vicious enemies have incredibly high attack. I'm totally not worried though. He hits us for 122. And the slime is charging at us, however we block it. And as we reposition, we gain 40 MP. We elbow drop the slime. Splatters into a puddle. And hey, try tigulated metal. Still not any better. So we get some scrap metal. I'll save up a little bit more scrap metal and then we'll go see what the blacksmith has to trade. The stinger has hexed us. Hint, cow urine is not a good substitute for manure. Hmm. This guy is actually pretty good. Pretty dangerous looking. Attack 96 through 144. He beats me in health and he beats me in attack. Let's go ahead and use Holy Wrath. We pulverized him for 1,395 damage. But somehow he still seems to be alive. I would have thought for sure that hitting him for more than his hit points would have killed him, but I guess not. Hey, another secret in the background. Tangled vines. Tangled vines block our path. What should we do, guys? Cut, smash, bash, or walk away? I like leaving these custom events up to you guys to decide. Because you make the absolute worst decisions possible. Eat the vines. Eat the vines is not an option. Can't eat everything. find a nuclear bomb on the ground. What do you do? Eat it! Swallow the bomb! Hold its explosion in your belly. Got bash, smash, cut. Well. It's tied. I can't worship it. Worship me! Worship me! It's tied. So I think I'm going to have to go with Cut, because Cut lost. It only had one, the others had two, so let's go with Cut. We clear the vines, finding nothing, but at least we didn't get entangled and killed from them. Hey, we find an item in this secret too. A Greater Umbo Shield. 5% chance to block. We clip that. I like all these secrets we're finding. Oh, hey guys! Sticky goo. There's some sticky goo on the walls here. No, it's on the floor. We can say hello to it, jump on it, or taste it. <laughs> that is how voting works, Mo Fleeker. The others were tied. Cut was the tiebreaker. I'm guessing y'all want me to taste this goo? Just stick it in my mouth? I'm kind of leaning towards Tasted, too. So, we're gonna just, just delicately, just as delicate as can be, tongue this goo. We taste it and our stomach hurts. I lost a little bit of health, I think. Never, never stick it in your mouth, okay? And a gushy slime is blocking our path. We've been dizzied. Well, I don't like these slimes. I don't like the amount of hit points they have. We're focused, we double our power, the slime is preparing to charge. So, I 
better reposition. He poisons us. I need to quit dancing around and actually attack here. He tramples us. We're wounded and poisoned. However, I'm about ready to die if I don't heal up. Good lord. I was hoping that I could reposition some of those negative status effects off, but it simply wasn't going to work. There we go. We destroyed the slime. Hmm. Every time I close my eyes, all I can see is that evil Matron. Okay, so there was a busty maiden out in the field. And a stinger throws a rotten potato at us. So how many licks does it take to eat a potato? Just one, apparently. Well, this stinger I'm not too worried about. He doesn't have double the hit points like the last one did. Hmm. I heal up. Hit point plus, hit point plus, exposed. We need to do a little bit of dancing around. One thing the stinger didn't know is that paladins are highly trained in ballet. And we grapple it, crush its head like a, like a tin can. About time, I was wondering when we were going to level up. We continue to put points into vitality. Because there's nothing... Nothing that can go wrong by stacking hit points. We've unlocked a new ability. Yeah, we already know about that one. We've also unlocked Mana Tide. When below 33 hit points, Mana Tide allows you to restore all of your mana. Okay. I hope this awful Matron is dealt with. Me too. The Desecrator Auroch is ahead. Desecrator enemies will bleed us frequently. We're bleeding already. So we have Feral Lash. Max hit point up. 600% extra attack. Let's go ahead and use that. We pulverize him for 1869 damage. Because we're not even messing around here. That's right. That's kind of why I save up my ultimate attacks in case we bump into something mean like that. Really, Skeleton? Got more important things to do than kicking you guys to the ground. A Kite Shield. It's got better block. It's got a Freedom Eagle on it. I'll take it and we get some scrap metal. Let's go see what the Blacksmith is up to. So... His quest, are you going to make me get more diamonds? No, he wants some babushkas. Which, of course, I don't have any babushkas. Activate the mission. He wants one mithril. One mithril. I can't roll my tongue like them damn dwarfs do. Okay, so we'll probably just have to wait until we buy it. Let's redeem some scrap metal here. A pole arm. It's not better than what I've got, and more importantly, it's not a wand. We'll salvage it. Yay, wood splints from a pole arm. Okay. Um, let's view a premium item here. Leeching Flail. I can't afford it. I don't think I can afford any of his premium items yet. Can't afford that. It's a freezing la lati. Mm, it's tempting, but no thanks. And a tomahawk. Damage 16, but it's an axe. So, I'm pretty much just going to stick to what I've been specializing in. The hornet has landed on, a, landed on us with its behind. Hmm. We're exposed because his butt is on us, I guess. And I still need... There we go. No. Let's, let's get this exposed gone. Now we can deal with the slime. Hornet is now enraged, and unfortunately... Oh, wait, wait, wait. The Hornet has webbed me. Since when do Hornets have webs? Oh, I cannot reposition while well ensnared. Well, this is great. I can press 5 to break free. That's great. I almost didn't see that. I really like this music. I know I've mentioned it before, but damn, it's good. And what did the Hornet give us? Normal Prostpole token. It's plain. I have no idea what that even is up there. 
I'm generally pretty adept at reading ASCII, but... I don't know. It looks kind of like some type of Mickey Mouse head. I want more secret areas. The Matron has pillaged all of my poor little potatoes. It's a potato genocide. It's a hornet with 666 hit points. Sent by the Matron herself. And he stood no chance. So, a silver key. I still don't know what silver keys are used for. I had to guess treasure chests, but... The empowered raven has trampled on our toe. We'll unleash holy wrath here. We pulverize him for 1300 damage. I, I still don't understand how that works because that should have just completely destroyed him. But it didn't, obviously. We grapple the raven, snapping its neck. We then pluck the feathers off of it and eat it for dinner. Nope. Salvage you. Scrap metal. Scrap metal is better than splints because I have no idea what splints are even for. It's a nimble empowered raven. Enemies, nimble enemies will dodge heavy attacks. Okay. Problem is, I don't really know what a heavy attack is. Let's see. We can. Uh, I've never charged before, so let's do that. We miss our charge resetting the combo. Maybe a charge counts. Oh, I'm still exposed. Maybe a charge counts as a heavy attack or something. I'll have to do some more fumbling around in order to figure that out. There we go. Okay. Not really interested in increasing my damage. My strength is only 6. As a paladin, I would have assumed that I would have started with a little bit higher strength than then 6, but maybe these aren't the paladins that run around in heavy armor. Maybe that's why I'm always exposed. All I've got on is a loincloth. Keep stacking the health. and a mongrel's resting ahead. We can break down soul shards into crafting materials. You'll notice I have not seen the background change for a while, unfortunately. You can guard all you want, we will smash through it. Still that house with the mountains and the pine tree. A strange hobo. We can say hello, stab her, steal her weapon, or walk away. <coughs> Well, I demand some wings then, for lack. I want to be able to fly. If we're going to be a fairy, I need magic fairy dust. There's no, there's no option to eat the hobo. I was going to say, because there's not an option to eat her... Nobody wants to vote. Steal her weapon, stab her. I was gonna say, nobody ever wants to just be nice. It's always violence. Violence and aggression. Or eating things. Well, I guess I have to choose walk away. That'd be the... The one that wasn't chose. We'll say hello. She disappears, leaving us a rawhide. Two rawhides. Hey, there's a secret back there. A secret cabin. A wall of fire. We can run through it, attack it, or spray water on it. There's no option to pee on it. If we had marshmallows, we might be able to make some s'mores here. We swing our mace at the fire, and it attacks us back. 
leaving us at one hit point. That's amazing. A barbed Roex has fallen onto us from above. How the hell did that thing fall out of the sky? Barbed enemies will hurt us heavily if we use our ultimate on them. I don't even want to know how this thing was flying. Um, I'm ensnared. We break free. And of course I'm exposed. I'm never not exposed, actually. There's probably only been one or two fights where I haven't had my junk exposed. Well, that's even worse than what we've got. So, let's salvage it. More rawhides. If I knew how to craft anything, those might be useful. I heard that you were looking for some items. Take this. A wooden splint. It'd be incredibly handy if I find anyone with a brick. Doesn't matter how much health a skeleton starts with. You know, those skeletons are pretty good experience. Sapper plus, once your combo meter fills up. I don't remember what a sapper does. Hmm, we're wounded. Doesn't that mean I'm gonna bleed? Charges, whatever. It's a helium rhino, huh? Hint, it is possible that you're inside a simulation. That'd be about the only thing that would explain flying rhinos. Um, I'll just smash this thing down. Save my ultimate. I know I'm going to need it at some point. Yep. Getting to the point here where the monsters aren't actually providing any type of challenge. But I'm not quite ready to move on ahead. I want more experience and more items like Gushy Slime. Okay. There we go. He didn't even get a hit on us. That's how badass this paladin has become. The hornet tramples us as it falls from a tree. There we go. Slaughter you. It's nice that pretty much all of my attacks too heal me. As long as I keep up the offense, we don't have to worry about anything. Charred toast. Eat it. Jump up and down. Pair it with a nice wine. What are we going to do with the toast, guys? Do you have any idea what type of bombs a rhino would drop? I know what I got to do. I just wanted to hear you guys say it. I've already, I've already paired it with a nice wine once. And last time the wine turned out to be blood. Blood and pus, actually. Okay, the least voted one gets it. Jump up and down. The toast latches onto our face and combusts in flames. I don't think there's any good outcome from any of these random events. The best option is probably just to walk away and pretend that it never happened. Yay, more scrap metal. The skeleton. Oh, we're ensnared. My help if I pay attention. Who doesn't like a little bit of blood and pus? It has to be chilled, though. Okay. Do all the usual upgrades. 777. sure make this fight sound like it's going to be absolutely critical. This is the last fight, and then we're going to go see the terminal. I heard the Matron robs potatoes from the crib. Well, one more fight. Shielding, a lesser drake has tackled us. 
Wow. It's got 4,000 hit points. It hits our exposed arm for 999 damage. Let's go ahead and unleash Feral Lash. Pulverize it for 2,000 damage. I need to reposition, though. There we go. We finally pull our pants up. And get to work on this beast. Mm. Time to heal. This thing's actually kind of putting up a fight. A little bit surprised. And he dies. Only 56 experience? We rolled a drake. Anyways, let's go ahead and first go to the blacksmith. We're going to redeem the rest of this scrap metal. An axe, 24 damage. I don't want to salvage it, but all my points are in wands, so we're just going to stick with that. Get a rawhide. Redeem some of the last of our scrap. Oh, he gives us a maul. Pointless. Okay, more scrap metal. So... Let's see what premium items he has. Purchase for 12,000 gold. So far he's not offered me, at any point, a premium item that I could actually afford. Apparently purples are really good. It's a flat bow, 32 damage. I think I'm going to have to purchase this bow. We're not specced into it at all, but... Wow. That's fancy. There we go. It's our bow. It's our flat bow. So purple is probably the best item that you can get. Let's go to gate 17. And deal with the terminal here. The terminal awaits us. A beep boop, beep boop. I will terminate you. I will terminate you. Hmm. Please press the any key to die. I'm looking for the any key. I don't see it. Let's open up with Holy Wrath, our ultimate. We do 13, 1300 damage to it. Hmm. Okay. You can't allow the damn thing actually get a lock on me this time. Oh boy. I almost danced myself into oblivion there. Bleeding. Two turns. Commencing genocide subroutine. Yeah. It's gonna get a lock on me. No surprise. He wounded us with a missile, but that's no big deal. We'll just heal up. I can't really let my health go below 500. It got two letters that time. That cheating bastard. We're exposed, wounded, and bleeding. Dang it. And yes, it's preparing to accelerate. Let's unleash Feral Lash again. Humans and machine alike do not enjoy fire. Apparently my guy loves fire. And the fact it hugged our face earlier. Mm. Oh, you just die. There we go. We sift through the wreckage of the terminal, examining microchips and circuit boards. What is this? Where does it come from? We don't know, so we take it back to the blacksmith. Apparently, it was built in the city of Kaldora. Made in Kaldora by Team Machinist Industry, as he says. We'll have to find the machinist if we want to know more. They say it's a place that's filled with robots. If you want to go there, you'd better get started now. However, during the night, the terminal reassembles itself and sneaks out the back door. Since we haven't seen the last of it, apparently. Oh, these citizens want us to save them from the bandits, the evil bandits. Hmm, take the crafting kit. It allows you to craft powerful items with E. There we go. We get a soul shard. 
So we've slaughtered the terminal, we've leveled up, got an item drop, please be something good. Uh, we'll equip that. It's better. And a wood splint. Let's see... Let's see what we can craft. Crafting kits requires commodity, handcraft armor, handcraft charms. We could upgrade our hammer for a hundred thousand gold. Seems a bit ridiculous. Let's see what crafting kits are. Shield crafting kit. Mm. We need two silver keys, one diamond, one mithril. Charm crafting kit uses two diamonds. Okay, so I can't really craft any of that. I can handcraft armor with the raw hides. Progress. If the bar is filled, the craft is a success. If the durability reaches zero, the craft is a failure. If the heat gets too high, durability is halved. And the higher the quality, the better the item. So keep progress high, durability high, and heat low. Oh my god, this is a lot to take in. Hammer. Very little heat, increases progress, but lacks quality. Medium, fast progress. Generates a little bit of quality. Strong, increases quality greatly, but slow and heat intensive. And weight, decreases both heat and progress. Goal. Keep an eye on durability. Don't overheat it. Finish the item with a durability between 1 and 50. Skill level goes up if the above two conditions are met. And remember, get your quality rating as high as possible. Let's start out with medium. Quality is 7, durability is 85. I guess heat are those red bars. Yes. Hmm. Strong is low progress, high durability, high heat, high quality. Let's go ahead and use a strong hit. and then finish this out with a medium hit craft success we craft splint mail which is better than what we had so let's equip that interesting crafting system wood splints are used for charms let's go ahead and craft a charm because my current charm is crap anyways Warning, warning, yes. And just plink away at it. Hmm. Quality 51. I don't know how high the quality can go. We make a Nucleo Flow Bust. It adds 30 decks and 8 whiz. Wow. We'll equip that, we get some scrap metal, don't have any more. Now I like wood splints. So, we could handcraft mats with a soul shard, but I'm going to keep my soul shard. I want to do some more armor here. Let's see, strong is low progress, high durability, high heat, high quality. Yes, yeah, so we need to be careful here. There we go. Only a quality of 43, but whatever. Trelized armor, 12 strength, 8 defense, we'll equip that, woohoo, so this is all still going into vitality, probably a bad choice to stack my skills like that, okay, Handcraft one more charm. I'm just curious. We're gonna waste some mats here. Let the heat go down. Quality is not nearly as high on that one, so just salvage it. I kinda like this system. I need to mess around with it a lot more. Hey, there's a secret in the background. Let's see what it is. It's a wall of fire. Run through it, attack it, or spray water on it. 
So I guess if we want the really good stuff, Metal Slime, we have to sit there and kind of get mats and then level stuff up. It's neat that it's got a level system in the level system. One thing I never tested while crafting was to actually just wait. Wait for the heat to go down. Run at it. I've got run at it. Spray water on it. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised every time we find something new. I'm not attacking it again. Last time we tried that, it latched onto our face. interesting how the boats are always different. We're going to go ahead and spray water on it. We failed to put out the flames with our own saliva. Okay. Let's head to the rogue camp. I didn't even go there last time. It's a focused, blinding, bandit lackey. It's looking up at the sky. Focused enemies have vastly increased accuracy. Oh dear. I'm gonna die. I don't like being blinded. He slashed my crotch for 200 some. There we go. I was wondering if I'd be blinded the entire fight. Down with democracy is what I'm saying, Mo Fleeker. We destroyed the bandit lackey. Get a ton of experience from it, too. It's a Brandistock. 30 damage, 9 intelligence. I'm just going to have to salvage it, unfortunately. Save the village. Yeah, that's, that's good to know. I'm still going to take on every boss fight that shows up. Don't eat yellow snow. It may be tainted with yellow blood. Okay, just get out of here, skeleton. I've got some bandits that I would rather fight. Smiter, Mana Thresh. Oh, I don't have enough MP. That's good to know. I should probably pay attention to my MP gauge occasionally. Shielding, shielding plus, empowered raven. Shielding enemies will guard much more often. Wow. He curses us. Hmm. I don't like this raven. I didn't want to do that, but I think I just wasted a heal. I need my ultimate. There we go. We unleash our ultimate and damn near kill the beast. However, we wound ourselves in the process. Grapple it. Bringing it to the ground. I would say that we were going to just beat it to death, but we have a bow, so we just planked it with arrows. We've erased it. Erased it from existence. Nope, let's go ahead and salvage that piece of junk. <laughs> How does a bird with wings, with shields for wings, even fly? So my vitality is 58. Strength is up to 26, even though I haven't put any points into it. It must just be all from my gear. Dex is 44. Keep stacking vitality. Keep stacking hit points. And. I think I'm gonna upgrade range mastery here. There we go. Considering the fact we've got this awesome bow and I don't think we're gonna be replacing it anytime soon. It's a stranger. I'm going to keep this short. The Brotherhood wants Lysa dead. Take this syringe into the tavern and inject it in her nether regions. Report back to me after the deed. You will be rewarded generously. Why would they want her dead? We can kill her or warn her. I'm gonna see what you guys think. I already know what I'm gonna choose to do. Would you guys stab Lysa and her private parts with a needle filled with unknown stuff? Or would you warn her? What type of viewer base do I have here? Yeah, Ebola syringe. We're gonna start some type of apocalyptic plague upon the 
world. Warn, inject, warn, warn. Pretty sure that's the most votes we're gonna get, so yeah, I'm going to go warn her. We inform her of the Brotherhood's murder plot. They're after me? I have to get out of here! Lysa runs out of the tavern, screaming. She's left behind a trinket. We assume control of the tavern, not wanting to keep the patrons waiting. So now, do we own the tavern now? Well, I really hate salvaging this thing. But it's not, it's not better than the one we made with 30 decks. It would give me 20 strength. Which isn't too bad. It'd give me 18 vitality. I think I'm actually going to keep it, because I do want strength and vitality, and I'm not too fond of dex or wisdom. So, there we go. We get a wood splint from our old one. There are 25 patrons waiting. Oh my goodness. We can restock one beer for 25 gold. We can upgrade the tavern for 250 gold. It's apparently not patronless. It's got 25 patrons. We're going to restock one beer all the beers. I'm gonna upgrade the tavern. Oh, you upgrade it and you can hold more beer. Interesting. So we've received a gift. It's been placed in our shared stash. I wonder if that's one of those things we can use whenever we create a character. It's nice. I can buy the beer for 20 gold and sell it for 181 get another gift. It's in our shared stash. I'm going to keep serving beer until all the patrons are gone. It's a greater tavern now. Pretty much all the money we make here I'm going to keep putting back into the tavern. What's Z and X? I'm not entirely sure what... Oh, restock two beers. Restock three beers. Four beers. Interesting. We don't need anybody waiting. The question is, how many times can you upgrade this place? It's now a drinkery. We only have five patrons. I'm not going to restock any beers yet. There's no one to serve. We do not have a marketing voucher to use, unfortunately. I wonder why I'm suddenly so introspective as I try to talk to people. Apparently there's a reward for slaying two enemies, so we take that. Yeah, what's in our shared stash here? Hmm. So is this shared stash split between characters? Like, can my other characters come here, get the tavern, and then these items. I wasn't even paying attention to the price. I didn't didn't notice it depended on that. We're gonna open the gift box. I'm curious what's in here. A scimitar. Not bad. 20 vitality, 7 strength. I'm unfortunately gonna have to salvage it. Get a wood splint from it. Okay. Open the last gift box. Hopefully, it's something good. Hmm. Another silver key. Let's go ahead and deposit those silver keys. Don't know what they're useful for. Probably nothing. Now, and I've never been to the Colosseum. Don't really want to go yet. I want to see what the blacksmith has going on. Where you at, blacksmith? I was hoping I could talk to him about Lysa and about my new tavern. Um, we'll just leave you. What are you selling, anyways? A dagger. No thanks. Okay, what about an axe? No thanks. Redeem our scrap metal. Ooh, he makes a... A war staff. 
does 32 damage, the same as the bow, 4 strength, 10 intelligence, and I've got way more points in my staff wand skill. I do have my points split between, it's, it's wand slash staff, right? Yeah, it's Sanctuary RPG. Say, so before I get rid of this awesome bow, I don't know if any of you guys remember or if any of you guys will know. But staff is not separate from wands, is it? My T just about tried to kill me. I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep my bow for now. As I sit here and choke on my T. I know, it wanted to go down my windpipe for a second. About kill me. I guess I'll keep the staff then. I may have to just quit streaming for the night if the, if the tea keeps trying to do that. That's absolutely insane. Okay, we're gonna go back to- well, no. I've never checked out the Coliseum, so let's go check that out. Wow. Hmm. <clears throat> so, we can upgrade the monster power level. Which I really don't want to do just yet until I know what I'm getting into. We can bring silver keys here to win soul shards. Ooh, what virtual means. We are now in a simulation. Run when you're done training. Let's just run away. What quests do they have here? I'm in need of a garbanzo. I can't seem to get enough of them. I haven't even seen a garbanzo. Damn you, T. I haven't put honey in you. You're supposed to be on my side. Okay, so let's see. Gladius runs this place. I like big things, like big muscle or big weapon. So quite the fancy area you're guarding. You think I need no no you think I no need to guard roped area, but I do. So what is it called? I call it Gladius Manly Arena for men. But they say name too long. Arena makes me tingly. Love watching strong men fight. Okay. What's your weapon of choice? I like taking man, put in headlock. Flex perfect muscles. Just men? Woman is too soft, but strong and hard like man. Okay, well how did you get this job? I am, how you say, volunteer. So, they don't pay you at all. I do not need to be paid. And why not? Would gladly pay to watch men fight all day long. So, can you train me or anything? I want muscles like that. Ah, you want strong muscles like your friend Gladius? Wonderful. Um, well, I do plan on fighting the Matron. Matron is weak woman. Use magic. I teach you beat her in arm wrestle. Um, well, what is wrong with magic? 
Magic no use muscles. Wizards always skinny. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to defeat her, not arm wrestle her. Is not defeat an arm wrestle manliest win aside from wrestling? Interesting. Okay, so we can use a questing keystone. Dungeons active. Portals appear periodically. I might regret this. Keystone portals. Yeah, what is this? Keystone portals overview. Portals to new randomized dungeons will open up periodically. These dungeons are more challenging than the main quest line. Should you make it to the end of each dungeon, a boss awaits. Defeating the boss will give you a guaranteed chest drop. Additional info. Legendary weapon drop rate is increased in these dungeons, and ascendant weapons can only be found from dungeon bosses. Hmm. If we go through here, we're probably going to die. Like, if we enter one of these, we can activate a keystone portal. It's a stargate! Portal opened to wet jungle. It consists of four enemies. I'm gonna go into the wet jungle. I need to know what this is like. It's a crippling, obstinate silencer. Vermin standing... standing erect. In hint, the blacksmith secretly loves to urinate on white slimes. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of hit points. Hits us for 94 damage. I'm just gonna get to work here. Working our, our beat magic to pummel this rat bastard into the ground. Exposed. Ow. We grapple it. Grapple it again. Still exposed though. I, my exposure is not going down. Which is kind of concerning. However, maybe I can actually just kill him. There we go. Not bad. 192 experience for that. Honestly, I think stacking vitality has been kind of a good choice so far. It increases my hit points, my heal power, my health by 20. I'm going to continue to do that. Continue to upgrade that. Wand staff. Take my magic mastery up. <clears throat> That's right, Forlack. Last night we tried to go to the school of beat 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 or whatever. Got a little bit through it. An anima is standing erect. Hint, what do you get when you put a salad in a fork? I have no idea. Let's unreach, un let's unreach, let's unleash our ultimate here. I said ultimate. You pulverize him for a puny amount of damage. He doesn't really have much attack though. Provided I don't get careless pay attention to my health. We should got another ultimate we can use. There we go. We pulverize right through his guard. Hmm. We're gonna beat the wet jungle here. Fast. Insidious. The redemption is standing erect. This is great. He's got a decent amount of attack though. We're slow. We're wounded. I have no idea what that Mark 1 up there means. <coughs> Here's our ultimate again. There we go. 2064 damage, cutting this life in half. So far, the Paladin is pretty good at... Uh, I probably should have saved my ultimate there. He was almost dead. The Paladin's really good at building his ultimate up and unleashing it. I like all the money signs. But it's not better, so we'll salvage it. Okay, I think the next one is the boss. 
desecrator, numbing Duskbat has slammed into our crotch and latched on. We've been snuck up on. We're exposed, my health is hidden. Okay, I don't like this. The bats cursed us. I really need my ultimate built up here. Yeah, we got this fight. I better heal up though, just in case he gets a lucky attack. We'll finish him off with our ultimate attack. I think that was the boss. We get a silver key. Okay. So, 7, 8, or 9. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Through which portal should we go? Seven's a lucky number. Eight is the number for wealth or infinity. I don't know anything about the number nine. Those are all chests, though. Those are natural portals. Which one should we open? I'm kind of leaning on 8 too because 8's a good number. Well, skeletons have like a negative luck stat. 8 it is. Even though that didn't do anything. Oh, I have to type 88. We get a soul shard. And 2,292 gold. Hmm. Okay, let's see what the next portal has. If that's what was in the chest, I feel kind of ripped off. We open the Grim Cabin. It has six enemies. I like this track. Okay, let's see what's in the Grim Cabin. We're gonna get killed here, probably. Insidious Silencer. It's got 10,000 hit points. Eh. Its attack isn't that great. It's about the only thing I have going for me is that none of these monsters have had a really high attack. And I can almost just heal myself. Oh wow, ultimate. 1,450% attack bonus. Pulverize him. Probably took him down to like one hit point there. Back in we go. We'll clear all these portals. Fast and city is shrouded. A bandit brute is standing erect. Hint, Lysa puts all her tips in an offshore account to avoid taxes. This guy is dangerous. Run's going better than I thought it would, but I have a feeling it's going to end here. This guy has a massive amount of attack. Slams our leg for 258 damage. So pretty much I just have to keep doing combos. And unleashing my ultimates. Because apparently his health is not that good. Let's go ahead and heal up. Just to be safe. And then unleash another ultimate on him. Only 7,500 health. Yeah, right now we're diving into portals, Stannis. trying to get to the bosses at the end. It's an impaler. It's a robot. Ah, uh, nothing. He's resistant. Which probably just means he resists the tax or something. Yeah, but they don't stand a chance against us right now. A Rondash shield. Block 11%. We'll take that. Get some rawhide. If I survive through this, well, I should go do some crafting. I still have three enemies left. Wrangler, Vampiric, the Embalmer is standing erect. I'm 
ensnared, bleeding, let's break free, feral lash, a thousand percent attack. We crush him. There was absolutely no no challenge there. Another redeemer. Looks like something from MechWire. Wow, look at that attack. 354. Yeah, every attack is pretty much devastating. We grapple the beast. We grapple the mech warrior, I mean. Throw it to the ground. Oh, wow. 1900 damage done to me in one attack. Continues to decimate me. However, I can pretty much just sit here and heal non-stop. If I'm not mistaken. Let's just finish that. Oh, the Paladin is powerful. What is this? A Doll Day Relic. 22 Wiz, 12 Dex. I'm just gonna salvage it. Yay, a Wood Splint. See, with all this health, if I can just survive their attacks, it doesn't really seem to be a problem at all. Soul Snatch, standing erect. However, he doesn't look any tougher than what we just fought. Oh, he's guarding. I better sidestep. There we go. I thought these portals were going to be a lot more terrifying than they have turned out to be. Chainmail! Completely worthless. Let's just salvage that. Scrap metal. 7, 8, or 9. I think this time I'm going to go for 9. 9 to 9. Another soul shard. 4,000 gold. <clears throat> You don't want to know, Stannis. Portal opened to Frozen Trail, consisting of six enemies. Focused, blinding, and fast. The stinger slams into our crotch. And wow. We start the fight almost dead. Look at his attack, 334 to 502. I don't like this. I don't think I can run away either. Let's use our holy. This is where we die. I can't outheal his damage. Let's see if we can run. Nope. Okay. Well. I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't get too. Oh my goodness. We're gonna die. I don't think I can heal through this. Try to run again. Nope. Decimates us. It's a 15% chance run. If we if we escape from this, I'm not coming back. We grapple them to the ground for 500 damage, but I'm exposed. I'm slowed. I'm bleeding. Because I'm exposed, I, I can't run. I have to sit here and try to heal. <sighs> I'm not able to out heal him because of my expose. I'm pretty sure. There we go. Oh, 1800 damage. Come on! <laughs> we, can, we can do this! No! It was going so well, too. There's only a 15% chance to run. If I tried to spam it, I'd probably have been dead sooner, but I think that was the inevitable outcome. The first, the first two portals went so well, I got over, overconfident. Grimoth, no! Give me my soul back. Go away. Rest in peace. Our character died at level 12. Not a bad run. Survived a lot longer than I thought we would. And so far this game just continues to impress me with the amount of depth and options that I have. I totally wasn't expecting the crafting. I wasn't expecting the tavern. I wasn't expecting the portals, and we didn't even really test out the arena at all. And as far as I know, this is only the second area of the game. Thank you.
Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end the stream here for tonight. It's 3.37 in the morning. I am going to go play some Final Fantasy XIV. I doubt that I'll be doing a whole lot of talking or streaming, but I might see if I can stream Final Fantasy XIV. I pretty much just want to rest and relax. Um, this game is free. You can donate if you like it whenever you go to download it. But I'll probably try and stream Final Fantasy XIV at really, really low quality settings. I'll still be here in chat. Um, but I'll probably mute my mic a little bit too. I'm gonna say, I, I'm pretty much done for the night. I don't know if they fixed that bug or not. There was a couple bugs I've been reading about over the month, months as I kind of followed this game. They are releasing a Sanctuary RPG Black Edition on Steam. I just don't know when it's going to be released. And that's the one that's going to have the upgraded ASCII and everything. Um, a lot more options from what I've heard. New music and things like that. So yep, the only thing I'm going to do after I end this first is i got to go put some pizza rolls in the oven. And then I'll mess around with settings and see just how pixelated I can make Final Fantasy. For being free, this is a great game. Absolutely great.